All right, welcome to another FaceCast. I'm Charlie Crocker. Uh, we're here in San Francisco, and I'm here with my uh, cohort uh, in product management, Micah Dickerson. And today we are excited to talk about uh, an event that we had uh, last November called an App Hack. Um, so, Micah, start by just telling us what is an App Hack? Well, I think Lynn Allen uh, was, was really funny uh, in, in her blog when we asked her to talk about it. She said, what is an app hack? And then she said, Gesundheit, because it sounded like a uh, okay. sneeze or something. <laughs> um, anyway, so it, it, uh, it's more than a sneeze. It was an event that we held at AU, at Autodesk University, uh, in late November in Las Vegas, where we invited uh, members of the Autodesk Developer Network uh, to come and bring contest entries, essentially, with them, uh, small apps that did some neat thing with AutoCAD. Uh, so, an, so an app hack, an app hack is an event where you get developers to do something unique and cool and right, yeah. kind of competitive. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. So where was it and when was it? So well, it was at AU in Las Vegas uh, in the late November last year. And um, we had uh, we had quite a, quite a lot of people uh, interested in it and um, lots of great entries. How many people participated? It was more than 30 actually submitted applications uh, to, to compete. And from that, we selected ten finalists, and then we had uh, three winners finally at the at the end of the event. So it's about two hours long. Uh, everybody got to demo their stuff. We had food and drink for everybody. It was really a lot of fun. And there were prizes. Yeah, big prizes. Big uh, prizes. We gave away uh, five thousand dollars for first prize, uh, two thousand for second, and uh, one thousand for third. And all the finalists also got uh, iPad Minis. They had just come out, so I, I actually was one of the first orders to Apple. That's great. That's great. That's one of our winners from the App Hack at uh, Autodesk University. Uh, this his name is uh, Mark uh, Stephanchuk, and um, we're gonna have a little conversation with him. So, um, Mark, are you there? I sure am. Great. So, um, Mark, um, where are you located right now? Um, well, I am personally located in Huntsville, Alabama, but our company is headquartered in uh, Portland, Maine. Portland, Maine. Okay. So, um, what's your company called? CAD Management Resources, and you can find us online at cadmanage.com. Okay. Uh, what do you guys do? What's the What's your main focus? Well, we're primarily a design automation consultancy. We focus on custom software development for CAD, and uh, we also do a fair bit of training. Okay. Um, uh, how many years have you been in the um, ADN program, the Autodesk Developer Network program? Um, I believe we've been part of ADN since our inception, which would be uh, about seven years. Okay, that's great. So um, the thing that we're the most interested in today, of course, is the app that you created. Um, can you just tell us just really quickly um, at a high level what that app is about, and then we'll, we'll get a bit of a demo later? Yeah, sure. Um, so PhotoGeo is... Um, its basic use case was to be able to manage existing conditions photographs uh, within CAD. Um, and so have you built apps before? Is this your first app? Uh, no, I've, I've built many apps before, many plugins, um, and uh, uh, at least one other for the for the uh, Autodesk Exchange okay. uh, called Ruby Files. So a lot of the apps that you've built are, are used internally or for customers? Uh, no, primarily for customers, um, and um, uh, many of them we, we give away on our website for free, or we, we have in the app exchange. Great. So you're, you're moving some of your apps over there now? Uh, we are, cool. yes. So um, where can users find your apps? Well, uh, on the uh, Autodesk Exchange app site or at cadmanage.com. Okay, great. So um, I think people will be able to see that um, address. Okay, um, so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to switch over and I've got the, um, the, the screen up here and what we'll do is um, um, we're going to start the video. Um, I assume you started it? No, I'm going to start it. Not yet. Just a sec. What's your... Okay. Oh, you want to go there first? Okay. Sorry, before we do that, we're going to actually go to the Exchange store so that we can see where your app is located. So, uh, you want to, why don't you talk a little bit about this, and, um, and I'll, I'll navigate around. Okay. 
So uh, right now you're seeing the uh, the uh, Autodesk Exchange App Store, um, and the, the the idea behind this is that you know over the years there have been millions of plugins and and uh, customizations developed for AutoCAD, um, and what we've done is create a place where users can go to find many of these things in one place. And you know our eventual goal is to get all of them in one place. Of course, that could take some time. Um, for now, we have several hundred. Um, so Exchange is a place to kind of aggregate these things. Um, so what we wanted to do was was find the uh, the Appack Winner app here, which uh, Charlie, if you want to click on that, it's under the most downloaded actually right now. So I, the point I want to make too is that this site works for all these different products. So we're on the AutoCAD store, but there's a store for Architecture, uh, Civil 3D, Inventor, Revit, etc. Um, so the Photo Geo app here happens to be the most downloaded app on the store currently, which is really great. And here it is. And so there's the detail page. We wanted to point out that the, that the app is uh, compatible with AutoCAD 2012 and 2013. And I'm, I'm sure Mark's going to be working on getting it to be compatible with our next release when that comes out as well. Um, and let's see, what else were we going to... So that's this is this is the app that Mark was talking about. Yeah, okay. This is, this is so can we look at it now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's look at it now. So what we're going to do now is take a look. Um, and Mark, we're going to start it right now. So Mark, can you walk us through this? Sure. We're starting on the options tab, which allows you to select either an album or a library from A360 or uh, uh, directly from your local drive. Uh, the next step would be to go to the main tab on the palette, which allows you to look at the photos, zoom in, zoom out, um, to look at Google Maps. Um, the next step would be to select the album that you want to view photos from or work with. This is, these photos are all located on A360. I've selected three of them, and I'm now I'm going to um, insert drawing markers into the drawing. So it automatically transforms the GPS location to the XY location in the drawing. We can also, um, I think the next step is to uh, insert an individual marker. Uh, oh, pardon me, this step is to um, place the actual photo into the design file, or into the drawing file. And this step, in, in this case, we're adding a new marker, just an individual marker, and we're selecting it, the, the photo from the local drive, and inserting the marker manually. Uh, we can also uh, locate the photo in Google Maps and take a look at different views in Google Maps. And the last step here is to actually I believe, open the photograph directly in Google Maps. So it's taking us uh, to Google.com, locating the, the, where the photo is located, showing you a view of the area that the photo was taken in, and we're done. That's great. That's great. So um, can you tell us a little bit about sort of the core use case, when, when people are going to be using this? Uh, most? Yeah, I, we, when we were first discussing the application, we were thinking that um, uh, if you're doing a, a survey of a utility or you have a construction site and you want to take some um, existing conditions drawings before you get started, uh, that you would, take, you would come back to the office and you have all these photos taken and then it might be a little while before you actually get, get to review those with your design team or with your construction team. And you might not remember exactly why or where you took that photo. And so what happens in this case is where we have a camera marker within the drawing that coordinates the location of where you took the photo um, with the actual photo itself. We also put a hyperlink on the photo so that you don't have to have the app loaded or the plugin loaded. You can connect to that and actually go to it, uh, go to the location of the photo, either on A360 or uh, on your local drive. And uh, the nice thing about using uh, the cloud or A360 is that you can share it with everybody without having to pass the files around. That's great. So it really sh it, it, it eases that workflow that people have going from the field and collecting just huge amounts of photography and not really knowing where to put it. What would be great is for any of you uh, on Facebook that are listening to this, if you've already downloaded it, I know that people have, or if you haven't, go up there and definitely download it and play around with it and, and please post how you're using it, where it makes sense to use it. Um, we'd love to hear the creative ways that you're actually um, using this, uh, this tool. 
Um, I'm sure Mark would uh, appreciate uh, the feedback as well. It's always fun to see your work in action and, and helping people get stuff done. So, um, so one of the things, um, thank you, Mark, for that. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, otherwise, I'm going to talk to Mike a little bit about getting apps up on the store. No, nope, thank you. We're very excited about the performance of the app, and we hope you, everybody downloads it. Cool. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, so, Micah, um, we've talked about the app hack, which is great. You know, people uh, joined us. Um, I'm assuming someday we may have another app hack. I would love to, yeah. Uh, okay. that's, that's certainly in the plans. Uh, we don't know exactly when it's going to be yet, but but the, but the plan is to do it again. Okay, it was that's very great. successful. So, both whether or not we do an app hack soon, um, or if you want to get apps yourself created and put up on the App Store, um, how do people do that? Well, we've created a, a great resource um, at autodesk.com slash develop apps. I think we've got that. Uh, we think. And in many cases, you may have a lot of apps that already exist uh, in your organization that you've built for either internal customers or external customers. And with just a little bit of tweaking, you could make these apps uh, available to a much wider audience. The App Store is available worldwide, mm -hmm. right, uh, in many languages. Um, as you can see, the App Store also, um, the App Store also uh, works with a bunch of different products and we're continuing to expand that as well. So um, we'll probably be back here soon uh, with additional um, winners from the app hack uh, we, uh, in the next couple months. So please stay tuned for that and keep checking in with the App Store because uh, the Exchange App Store is constantly getting new apps uh, up there. Always changing. And we just put out some great new functionality in the, in the store itself. So Great new functionality. Yeah, yeah. The store itself yeah. is continuing to improve as well. That's so. right. Yeah. Um, Thanks again for another great uh, face cast. It was really great having Mark here. This is our first time actually having um, a, on the phone. someone on the phone yeah. remote. It was great. Mm -hmm. And Micah, thanks again for your time. Thank you, Charlie.